We're Oblivion back. take you! What is it you want from me? Well, first off, I'm here because the people up in the town there have all gone invisible and they'd like to stop the police. Yes, I had been working on a new invisibility spell. As you can see, it works quite well. Why? Well, the entire town. Oh, really? Everyone in town? That must have been what all the shouting was about a few weeks ago. I'm afraid I was engrossed in an experiment that required my full attention. You see, in order to increase the efficacy of the spell, the radius was likely to approach the... Oh, never mind. I don't mean to bore you. Well, oh, don't worry. I'm an expert in mysticism. I'm an expert in, you know, conjuration and destruction. Just tell me what I need to do to reverse this. Well, yeah, not a problem. Tell me more. Ah, a fellow mage. Please excuse my rudeness earlier. I find most people extremely tedious, completely ignorant of the arcane. You know, I totally agree with you. I came out here to get some privacy for my research. Instead, I was constantly bothered by the local peasantry. The explosions are scaring the sheep, or a plague of rats ate all our crops. Every day, another complaint. You're so sensitive about the No understanding like of the pitfalls of experimental magic. Finally, I decided that permanent invisibility was the only way to get some peace and quiet. So is this thing permanent for them? Too? I know. You're about to quote Vanto's third law. Don't worry. I have not actually found a way to violate the conservation of perception. The invisibility is not actually permanent. You can tell the villagers not to worry. It will wear off eventually. How long is eventually? Well, in a year or two. Maybe a bit more. There's no way to be absolutely sure. That's the exciting thing about basic research. You'll be if I don't think they'll be excited about that. Really? I find being invisible quite refreshing. But, if it will get everyone to leave me alone, fine. I did work out a counter spell last week. If I can just put my hand to it. Ah. Here. Stand in the center of town to make sure you get everyone. Oh, and make sure... Never mind. It should be fine. What should be fine? Yes, just read the scroll in the middle of town. It should work. Although... Just in case, it might be best if you wore this ring while you were casting the spell. I make them myself. Very useful for this kind of research. Not that I think anything will go wrong. A serious side effects are highly unlikely. You know, the more you talk about serious side effects, the less I am, less likely I believe you. Don't forget to wear that ring I gave you when you cast the spell. Not that there's anything to worry about. Nothing at all. Do you have a copy of this little spell so I could, uh, you know, rip myself? I am sorry about that. Just use the reverse invisibility scroll I gave you. All right. Good day. And please, don't blow up any more sheep.
Thank you, thank you. I can't tell you how good it feels to be able to see myself again. My sisters, on the other hand, I wouldn't mind if they had stayed invisible. <laughs> ah, me. Friend, you are welcome at the Aleswell Inn any time. Free of charge. Oh, that's, that's handy of you. Is Ankotar... Has he caused problems in the past? We haven't seen him since that whole invisibility mess. I hope it stays that way. Okay, uh, you... Take care. You all have a wonderful night, all right? All right, we'll just get on our way then. Oh, took a lot less time than I thought it would. Oh, those are more sheep. We're not slaughtering anything. We're not killing the sheep. Oh, I forgot to mention, you know, that uh, there was um, an invisible wolf. Yeah, he came in and uh, slaughtered your sheep, and I killed him and disposed of the body. You're welcome. I scour the land, seeking fortune for Gortwog and Orsinian. Someday all will recognize the true wealth of the orcs. You too seek wealth, do you not? May you find it, and may tales of your journey be legendary. Right back at I know there's support there. And I could explore it, but given that the outside is full of monsters, the inside is probably full of monsters too, and that means it's just not worth it. Come right to the top. It's like they're waiting to be caught. 
Are you not supposed to play? Be glad you will not live to see the day Lord Gaven walk You know, have uh, Mythic Dawn members coming after me. Because I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not, I'm not too opposed to that. I, I, I welcome the source of new money, but. Yes, yes, I am. Hey, I get this over. I do not fear yeah. death. Oh. Show me what you've got. I do not fear death. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Paradise awaits me. You're wearing red. How goes it? Fine. Rosan is a talented smith. Finally, we can get in. Tidings. Good Hello. to see you again, sir. Shall I escort you upstairs to see my master? Yes, yes, please. Very good. Please follow me. Ah, the treasure hunter. Please, have a seat. Ah, yes. My treasure hunting friend. What can I do for you? Well, first, here, have a... Here, have a statue first. Yes. Have you found another statue for me? Indeed I have. Well done. Here is your payment, as promised. But even more, I have uh, rumors of your other guy. I believe a little friendly competition always sharpens the wits. Even more reason for you to get back to hunting for my carving. Well, no, he, he tried to have me killed. But, you know, I killed him right back, and I got your I got your carving for you. Yes, you learned that it is the ruin now known as Malada. Were you able to recover the carving yet? Certainly was. Wonderful! You are indeed a treasure hunter of exceptional talents. Here is your reward, as promised. Normally, I would give you a chance to celebrate your success, but I do have another task for you, if you are interested. A rather urgent one. Oh. What's the other task? This is not quite in your usual line of work, but I hope you can help me just the same. A rival collector has an item which I very much want to add to my collection. But she stubbornly refuses to consider any of my offers. She and I have had our differences over the years, I admit. Now she is taking this opportunity to get her revenge. I believe that you may be able to persuade her to part with the item, where I cannot due to her prejudice against me. Are you interested? Hmm. Sure, why not? Very good. I hope you will succeed where I have so far failed. Well, what can you tell me about her? Her name is Herminia Sinner. She ah. lives here in the Imperial City, in the Elven Gardens District. She fancies herself a student of the Aeliads, although she sadly lacks any aesthetic instinct whatsoever. Be that as it may, 
she has come into possession of an ancient relic known as the Crown of the Aliens. Your job is to acquire it for me. Here is more than enough gold to buy it at any reasonable price. You may keep whatever you do not use as your fee. What does Crown of the Aliens look like? Reputedly the crown worn by the last king of the Aliens. It deserves to be part of my collection. Hmm. And tell me about this last Aliens king. Very little is known of him, not even his name. He ruled the last Aeliad city in Cyrodiil during the First Era, three centuries after the fall of White Gold Tower. Mm. Just thinking what to know, your Merrick guy is kind of dead. The carving you recovered from the ladder will be invaluable in my research on the late Aeliad period. Okay. Bye. Now you're gonna go put that statue up there. Yes, yes, you are. Looks like we have another six to go. But if if if, if this if this display case is any is any judge. Good morning. Not only anywhere to find any of them. Yep, that, that's not what I want to do. This door. So Garden District is oh, yeah right 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 there. Then we'll stop by the market, sell some crap, and then we can go to the Arcade University <laughs> and present myself as an as an apprentice wizard who is a master of three schools of magic. Say where to find her? Erna Sinta? Sinta or something like that? I understand. He'll teach others to be sneaky too. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's I heard you know how to move in life. The hero of Gaf. Herminia Sinna. Amateur scholar of the ancient elves, dabbler in the arcane arts. How can I help you? Well, first we're going to get Please, you go on. Get you nicely buttered up, won't we? Okay, bad, good, moderate, good. Bad, bad, good. No. Bad, bad, good. Good. Really? Not fun. Really? You can't scare me. Really? You're wasting your breath. Get away. No, you do me too much honor. All right. Good, good, bad, bad. Remark. Goodness. What? You can't. You're revolting. Remark. What a oh, that's foul. You're that's just no. I wish I could. That will get you something. I'm with you completely. Okay, now that you're my friend, because I'm able to pick, able to click click pieces of a pie. Let's talk about this, the last alien king. Because I, you know, I'm a scholar too. I've been through plenty of alien ruins, discovering things, and. Occasionally murdering the entire the entire population of, of, of the dungeon, but that's a different thing So let's talk about this last alien king guy the king of Nenalata is the last alien king known to history true He appears to have ruled for centuries past the fall of all the other alien kingdoms if the ancient chronicles are to be believed But there never was a single king of the aliens Each city-state had its king and their power waxed and waned over the years the King of Nenalata was the last, simply because all the other kings had been destroyed or driven out of Cyrodiil. Well, I understand you have his crown. You want to buy my alien crown? It isn't for sale at any price. I would think Umbakana would know that by now. Uh, I don't suppose you believe that I'm not working for Umbakana? Save your breath. He's the only one who knows I have it. 
He's tried to get it from me for years. I will never allow the crown to fall into Umber Kano's hands. He is far more dangerous than you realize. He is a cookie old collector. Why, why is he dangerous? Far from it. His interest in the aliens is not that of a mere scholar. He hopes to unlock the secrets of their magical power. Oh. And if you know anything about alien ruled Cyrodiil, that should make you very uneasy. So how is it, how is this thing dangerous? I'm afraid I don't know for sure. I wish I had a more persuasive answer, but hear me out. The crown of the aliens which Umbakano wants is not simply an ancient work of art. It has certain superficial magic powers, true, but its real power is hidden. However, my studies of the ancient text make clear that it is the key to dangerous magical powers which should be left dormant. Okay. You know he's not going to give up, right? You're right. Even if I persuade you, he'll send someone else. Someone less amenable to reason. But what if... What if you brought him another alien crown? Oh. Is, th is there another? My own research into the late alien period suggests that there was not a single alien ruler, but many. They were a bitterly divided people, with many warlords vying against each other for power. Their ultimate demise was wrought by their own civil strife, at least as much as by the rebellion of their human slaves. Okay. So where's his other crown, then? My crown, the one Umbakano covets, belonged to the ruler of Nenalata. I've learned of another crown, entombed with the last ruler of the rival city of Lindai. Since Umbakano has never laid eyes on the real crown of the aliens, I doubt he could tell the difference. In any case, the other is also a real alien crown, just not the right one. I think we could all sleep better if you brought him Lindai's crown instead of the crown of Nenalata. Here, I happen to have the key you'll need to enter the royal burial chamber in Lindai. I hope you'll make the right choice. <sighs> All right, where's Lindai? The alien city of Lindai was a bitter rival to Nenalata, the city of the so-called last king of the aliens. Umbakano may not be able to tell the difference between the crown of Lindai and the crown of Nenalata. It's at least worth a try. I know I don't want to find out what terrible power Umbakano could unleash using the crown of Nenalata. Well, it strikes me like you're probably a crazy paranoid conspiracy theorist. Goodbye. But, you know, it's not worth figuring out what by I would put down a different a different letter. All right, Mer market district, market district. I guess I can sell the stuff off camera, so we'll just head straight to the. Uh... We're going to go straight to the Arcane University district. And you spare a Hi there. Hey there. Hello, Associate. Hello, Associate. It seems you've obtained the final recommendation you required. Indeed. 
I have received recommendations from all the local guild halls in Cyrodiil. You've done well for yourself. You may now enter the university. As a full-fledged member of the Mages Guild, I now also promote you to the rank of Apprentice and grant you the robe of the Apprentice. Take a moment and try it on. Then we shall speak of what comes next for you. Well, it, it goes with the helmet at least, but... Uh... We come to the real work at last. You have, no doubt, seen some of the worst the Guild has to offer. As much as we try to hold mages to a higher standard, they are only human. What I hope you will now see is that while the guild can be disjointed and misused, it can also achieve some wonderful things. Now you have an opportunity to engage in more meaningful tasks and continue with your advancement through the guild. All right, what, what can I do to advance? You do not yet qualify for further advancement in the guild. Oh yes, but I'm asking how. What, what what task do you have? Oh, you sell. You sell. Have a look at my wares. You sell. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Expensive spells. For illusion and alteration, my weakest my weakest skills. I appreciate you. So what, what tasks do you have for me? Before you can begin work for the guild, you'll need to do something for yourself. Every mage carries a staff. It is crafted and enchanted by the guild and is a symbol of status. You need such a staff. Where can I get one? The wood used for staves comes from a grove to the northeast of the Imperial City, near Wellspring Cave. Several mages tend to the grove and should be able to assist you. Speak with either Zarasha or Elet when you arrive and choose wisely. Okay. Let's go do that. Then. You shall have a true mage's staff soon. <laughs> Arcane University. Hello, Gilbert. Who are you? Enchanted to meet you. Delmar Enchanter Extraordinaire to the Mage's Guild. At your service. Got some enchanting in mind? Um. What, tell me about, tell me about your take on the Imperial City. Enchanting city. Real Eiffel. Just walk and gawk. Stroll along the greenway and around the palace. What are you doing in the Mage's Guild? If you're looking to create your own enchantments, you've come to the right place. Okay, any rumors? Not only has necromancy been banned from pra- Yeah, I've heard that one before. Bye. Who are you? Greetings, Apprentice. Martina Floria, Master Enchanter for the Mage's Guild. Welcome to the Cairo Nauseum. Enchanting, isn't it? Do all of you talk like that? Is that going to become a Goodbye. thing? Goodbye. Welcome to the Cairo. You don't trust spells. You too. Chanting altars. Uh, can I add it? Can I add anything else? Anything else to Umbra? Uh, no, that soul gem I won't. Greetings, guildmate. What's happening? They say syndicates of wizards have led a boycott of imperial goods in the land of the Ultima. Oof. The Ultima. The Lustratorium. Who are you? Well met. I'm sorry, fellow Magister, but I don't have time to talk right now. My studies keep me very busy, as you can well imagine. Indeed. Hello, Apprentice. 
I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna talk to everyone, just cause I can. Unless you're just a normal apprentice. Renald Viennes. I'm the practice room proctor. No horseplay or foolishness. This is for serious exercises. I like to walk. You can walk for hours in the city. Always something to look at, someone to talk to. Goodbye. Greetings, friends. Good day. Have I have I talked to you before? Yes, you help me with the big dog quest. I remember that. Take now. care. Well met, guildmate. Borisian, master spellmaker for the Mages Guild. Guildsman only, of course. Yeah, Only quality five. goods for sale here. What can I interest oh, you in? 75, that's a good spell. Expensive spell. Thank you for your patronage. I mean, I'm... I'm built for magic. I started as a pure mage. I have, you know... I don't know how many pieces of, ma of magic boosting gear. And I still don't. And I still don't have enough to cast that. How are you supposed to re? How are you supposed to be able to cast those kind of spells? He's seeing you. Minus fifty. What happened there? Is there a restore something I need? So we're going to do our own number of spells. Uh, do I have restriction 100? I think so. Find out I have a restore luck, don't I? No, no, I don't. Oh gosh, I made it as a spell to help someone else.
That's much better. Hey, see that that's working. Well met, guildmate. Hello, apprentice. Hello. You guys, you know I don't want to call it a part there, but I'm feeling exhausted right now, and so I'm going to hang up and ah, I'm going to finish this off. Be, and when next we play, we can go to this wellspring northeast of the city. They said. That's not even too far. So we'll we'll jump there, make ourselves a staff, and then we'll probably head up to Bruma near to Cloud Ru Cloud Ru Cloud Ruler Temple. So we can tell Martin the good news. Manker Cameron got away thanks to some gay manipulation BS. But at least I have his book. So we can figure out what to do then. Until then, thank you, and you have a wonderful night.